Is there any doubt that the Israeli Prime Minister have taken almost every step to scuttle the negotiations over the past few months? I'm not going to speak for uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, Saeed, right. and I will let him okay. speak for himself. But in general, what I can say is that we have seen the Israelis right. engaged and constructive in conversations uh, that we have been having about a ceasefire deal. Mr. Hani was the chief negotiator. He was the chief negotiator involved in these negotiations. So when Israel first kills his grandchildren, then kills all his children, then kills him, does that send like a clear message that they don't want these negotiations? He is the chief negotiator, correct? Right. I will say again, as I've said to Daphne and others, I'm not going to speculate on this as it relates to uh, how it may or may not uh, impact a, a ceasefire deal. Let me ask you, a, you know, a basic question. As far as the negotiations are concerned, is the killing of Mr. Hani good, bad, or indifferent in your view? I am not going to speculate again for what is probably now the 15th time. What I can speak to is what the United States is doing and what the United States is focused on. And what we are doing and what we are focused on is working to close the gaps. We continue to believe a deal is achievable. My last, oh, my last. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel that Killing Hani uh, complicates the negotiations further. Sorry, you literally just asked me I'm a version of that you, question. Is this, is Willie, this go ahead. Any events that go, go ahead, Willie.